Lucas had always been a skeptic. As a seasoned journalist, he prided himself on uncovering the truth behind every story. This time, though, he faced a mystery that defied all conventional explanations. His assignment was to investigate a series of disappearances in the secluded town of Ravenswood. The rumor spoke of an ancient curse, one that awakened every hundred years to claim its victims. Lucas arrived at the town, greeted by its eerie silence and mist-covered streets. His contact, an elderly librarian named Eliza, was waiting for him. Eliza was a fountain of local lore, her eyes filled with both knowledge and fear as she recounted the tales of the curse. Lucas listened intently, jotting down notes but remaining unconvinced. That night, he decided to explore the forest on the outskirts of town, the supposed epicenter of the disappearances. The moonlight barely penetrated the thick canopy, casting sinister shadows. Lucas carried a flashlight and his notepad, ready to debunk the myth. Hours passed, and Lucas found nothing out of the ordinary. He was about to head back when he noticed a faint glow in the distance. Curiosity peaked, he approached cautiously. The source of the light was a circle of ancient stones, illuminated by an otherworldly glow. In the center stood a figure in a tattered cloak, chanting in a language Lucas couldn't understand. Suddenly, the figure turned, revealing a face that seemed ageless and eyes that bore into his soul. Panicked, Lucas stumbled backward, dropping his flashlight. The light hit the ground and flickered, casting an eerie glow on the face of the figure. It was Eliza. She raised her hand, and Lucas felt an invisible force pin him to the ground. She spoke, her voice echoing with an unnatural timbre. The curse is real, Lucas. It's not a story to be debunked, but a fate to be accepted. As darkness enveloped him, Lucas realized the truth. Ravenswood's curse was alive, and he was its next victim. The next morning, the townsfolk found Lucas's abandoned equipment near the forest's edge, but of Lucas, there was no sign. Eliza continued her work at the library, her eyes now holding a secret known only to the cursed town of Ravenswood.